could a single form determine how successful you are as a landlord? But if one could, it would definitely be a rental application form. These forms help property owners get the information they need to find more reliable tenants. They're also where landlords make several important legal disclosures and collect other information from prospective tenants. When you put it all together, rental application forms are super important. But what different types of forms are there? How do you write one? And how do you use a rental application to make an approval decision? We created this video to answer all those questions while telling you everything you need to know about rental application forms as a landlord. Welcome back loopers, it's Mohamed Obagosh with DoorLoop. First, the basics. A rental application form is what people who want to become your tenants will fill out in the hopes that you'll approve them. These are also called lease applications, tenant applications, and rental property applications, among some other names. One thing you should know is that there can be differences between rental application forms for different spaces. For example, a room rental application form may have information about the common spaces, whereas a full home rental application may describe a tenant's yard work responsibilities. This matters mostly if you're going to use a template to create your rental application forms. If you plan on doing so, be sure to find one that fits the space you're trying to rent to avoid leaving out key information during the application process. So that's pretty straightforward, but actually creating a rental application form can be a bit more complicated. Next, I'm gonna walk you through the process with step-by-step -step instructions to make it easier. The first thing you wanna include in your rental application is the property's address and the date of the application. That way it's legally clear what property this application is covering when it's filled out. Next up, you should ask the applicant for their personal information so that you can run background checks and verify the references. Some key pieces of information to ask for here include date of birth, full name, phone numbers, social security numbers for credit checks, email addresses, and driver's license number. Now it's time to start gathering information about the applicant's past. The first thing we wanna do is get their rental history so that we can see if they've broken any leases in the past or have been subject to any evictions. Some of the information that you may ask for in this section include their current address, previous addresses, the reasons for moving, monthly rent price, due date, and payment conditions. You could also ask for the landlord's contact information as well. Now you're going to be looking for this on your own, but it's also a good idea to ask if they've broken any previous leases or had any evictions. But like I said, you should be able to find this information on your own anyways from the background check that you're gonna run. you'd only want to lease to someone if they can pay their rent, right? So the next thing that you should collect is the applicant's employment information. This includes their current employer and position within the company, the name of a supervisor, the company phone number and address, their monthly pay, and the duration of their employment. Finally, the last major piece of information that you're gonna want is one or more references for the applicant. This should include the reference's contact information, name, and relationship to the applicant. Once you have all this information, you have everything you need to make a decision about whether or not you're gonna approve this applicant. But you still need to run a few checks before making that call. Here are three checks that you should make while deciding on a rental applicant. The first thing you wanna do is to run a general background check. Sometimes these will turn all the information that you need to make a final decision. Other times, you might need to run a few other checks to fill in the missing gaps. But with that being said, a standard background check will give you a ton of information about your applicant, including a fraud indicator report, any public records that they have, and checks in major federal databases, such as the National Sex Offender Registry. You'll also see if your applicant has a criminal background they may not have disclosed. Some regular background checks include credit information, but if the one that you use doesn't, then you'll wanna run a credit check separately. This is worth doing because it tells you how financially responsible an applicant is. If they have several accounts in collections, they may have a hard time paying rent consistently. And finally, you should also run a rental history check before agreeing to lease your property to the applicant. This will tell you if the person has a good track record with their previous rental units, or if they have an issue with late payments and evictions. When you put all this information together and check the references your applicant provided, that should be enough to make a final decision about whether or not to approve them. At this point, one of two things can happen. Either you approve the tenant, in which case you need to start preparing a lease agreement, 
or you deny the applicant and give them your official reason for doing so. In both cases, it's important to pay attention to the state and federal housing laws to ensure that you do everything you need to do as a landlord to avoid fines and penalties. Now that pretty much covers everything, but we've got one bonus tip for you. So if you've enjoyed the video so far, make sure to like and subscribe to get this information out to more property managers and landlords just like you. So right about now you might be wondering, where can I find a rental application form just like this? The good news is that you can find a ton of different templates online nowadays to make this process easier for yourself. Just be careful where you get them from because some sites don't take into account everything you need to know as a landlord. The good news is that we have some great free resources on the Doorloop website if you'd like to get some help with creating your rental application form. And while you're at it, you may also want to consider using our all-in-one property management platform for your application process. It makes everything easier from automating the screening process to simplifying payments. So if that's something that you're interested in, you can sign up for a free demo to learn more. With all that being said, we hope you found this video helpful. Check out some more property management videos in the series, and we'll see you soon.